This video is brought to you by UIG Large German Watches. Be sure to check them out at www.uigwatch.com and be sure to use coupon code SOCCER at checkout for a $125 discount off any watch. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a comparison video between the Umbro GT Pro 2 and the Nike Mercurial Vapor 7. Um, I've had a lot of uh, requests to compare these two shoes, so I'm going to do it here. And the reason I am comparing these two shoes is because if you're not aware, Umbro has been taken over by Nike. And this is kind of the first line of uh, Umbro shoes that have these kind of Nike-esque um, elements to it. And that the GT Pro 2 is very much based off of the Vapor 7, which is why they are so similar. Um, first off, these are both speed boots. So the main thing with speed boots is the upper. Um, generally, you get a thin synthetic with, uh, with the upper on a speed boot, and that is the case with both these shoes. Um, they're both a Tasian microfiber synthetic. Um, both are very th not super thin. It's not going to be uh, it's not going to be that Adi Zero thin or the, even the Pele Trinity as like thin like wearing a sock. But they they are very thin. They're not going to provide much protection, and you're really going to feel the ball. The difference here is that both of these shoes really have that really tight to your foot feel that I really think that the Adi Zero still lack. Um, the Vapors are kind of the original synthetic speed boot, they have always been around, they've always been very popular and they're, they're still very good shoes. But the Umbro GT Pro, GT Pro 2 really challenges them in that it's a very similar shoe. They did a good job in keeping the fit really well. The difference in the upper is going to be that the Umbro GT Pro 2 has kind of a, a mesh liner on the inside, just a very thin mesh. And whether or not that it helps with the comfort, I really didn't find that much of a difference. But uh, if that's something that you like, you might like the Umbro GT Pro 2. Um, again, they're very similar feeling boots. You're gonna right out of the box, they're both gonna be very stiff. Um, they're gonna you're gonna take probably two, three, four hours to really break in these shoes so you really feel comfortable in them, simply because the upper is so stiff. Um, if you notice the shape of these two shoes is very similar. Uh, Umbro really took the problem with synthetic shoes is that it really does require a predetermined shape that's really kind of streamlined with your foot so it really fits your foot well and both of these shoes do a really good job at that. Um, I happen to notice that the Umbro GT Pro 2 had a little bit smaller toe box which I believe you can see here. Um, the Vapors are getting a little bit wider and wider and I'd actually call the Umbros to be a little bit narrower in this case. Um, the other difference in the fit you're going to notice is the actual cut in the heel. You're going to notice that the Umbro GT Pro 2 has an ever so slightly higher cut in the heel which is somewhat unusual for a speed boot, and which is why I compared it to the uh, Adi Power SL. I'll leave an annotation in the top left if you want to check that out. But they have just that ever so slightly higher cut, which gives them a little bit more support in the heel, in the ankle area, and uh, it's definitely a good thing. As far as which one's more comfortable, I'm not going to say that which one, one is more comfortable because they are so similar. You're also going to notice that the lacing system is ever so slightly off center on the Umbro GT Pro 2, which a lot of people may like in the long run where the Vapor 7 just has that central lacing system. Um, as far as stud pattern and sole plate goes, on the Vapor you're getting this glass fiber sole plate. Um, really stiff, really it's stiff in the right places I guess you could say. It's a really nice sole plate. Um, it does a good job at kind of uh, get, getting rid of most of the stud pressure. There's not much stud pressure at all. At least when they're brand new, when they do, when you do break them in a little bit you might feel a little bit but for the most part it does a really good job at keeping the shoe nice and stiff where the uh, Umbro GT Pro 2 has more of a uh, kind of an open stud kind of stud pattern sole plate kind of thing it's more to shave weight so it's only got basically a sole in the places where there's actually studs but the, as far as stud patterns goes the Vapors have that kind of uh, unique triangular bladed stud pattern system they got going with the holes in the studs um, you get the four, four uh, bladed heel studs. It's a stud pattern that's going to work on pretty much any surface. Um, it's not going to perform all that well on softer ground simply because the studs are so short. But uh, it's one of those stud patterns that makes you feel like you're on your toes, which is why I think the Mercurials have been so successful. The Umbro GT Pro 2 has a laser, the same stud pattern as the T90 Laser Series from Nike, which again gives them a very unique feel. Um, it gives them a very solid feel when shooting the ball. And they really do provide that really good grip when pushing off, which is something that I really like and is totally unique between these two shoes. The last thing to compare it between these two shoes is the weight. Since these are both speed boots, weight is kind of an important thing. Um, I'm going to weigh it in real time just 
before I weigh them. These are both size 9 US, so they're the exact same size. Uh, the vapors are brand new, whereas the Umbros have been used. So the weight, there is a little bit of a weight variance for sure. Um, I'll weigh the Umbros first, real time on the scale. And they weigh in at 8.6 ounces, which is uh, uh, ever so slightly above that 8 ounce mark. But at the end of the day, uh, 0.6 ounces is next to nothing. Um, we'll put on the vapors, which again, they're brand new, so there's no dirt on them or anything. And I've got a weight of 8.15 ounces. So you see the difference is about 0.5 ounces between the two shoes, which uh, is really next to nothing. It's, it's the weight of a very thin insole or even a pair of laces is hovering around 0.5 ounces. It's just, it's very little of a weight difference. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for these two shoes, I don't think weight's gonna be the really the, the differentiating factor it, on whether or not you get an Umbro or a Nike in this case. I really think it comes down to which one, which qualities you're looking for. If you're looking for that kind of on your toes, kind of more mobile fit shoe, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get that better out of the Vapor. But if you want something a little more solid feeling while still kind of keeping that thin, lightweight feel, you're probably gonna like the Umbro GT Pro 2. And you have to take into consideration that it is a lot cheaper. It has a retail of $150, but you can find it for about 100 bucks. Um, which is a really good deal for this kind of shoe. So it's basically half price for something that's very, very similar to a Vapor 7, which is a very, very popular shoe. At the end of the day, which one's my favorite? Uh, I can't really pick one. Uh, they're so similar that I, it really comes down to what you're looking for. Because uh, they're not, to me, they're, they're, they're directly competing, but at the same time, they're different enough where they're kind of meant to be different things. Um, but at the end of the day, if you want to check out the full written reviews for both of these shoes, the links are in the description to my website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com. Take you right to the review page where you'll see high quality pictures, um, possibly some comparison videos, buy it now links with the best prices online, and basically all the information you can possibly need on all of these shoes. Um, again, the links are in the description for that. If you have any questions not related to the video, there's a link in the description to my Facebook page where you can ask, ask any question you want and I'll try to get, get an answer to you. And also, if you're interested in following me on Twitter, the links in the description of that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.